What's poppin'? It's your boy Brennan Myers. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Today we're gonna be discussing how to master the perfect muscle up. But before we do, if you haven't checked out the new apparel, make it count. And then also the joggers, go ahead and check it out right here on the card or in the description. We also have a discount for you. And if you haven't checked out my daily vlog channel, every single day I'm back with a new video. Check that out in the description as well or in the comment section. Now to the perfect muscle up. If you can't even do a pull up, or maybe you can't even do a kipping muscle up, well, how are you gonna get to this specific perfect muscle up? Well, I'm gonna give you some, just a few examples and exactly what you should be focusing on to get there. So, without further ado, let's get it started. So the first step to perfecting your muscle up, you have to warm up, right? So we're gonna come over here, find a dip bar. And if you don't have a dip bar, we're actually gonna use a fence just to help you out a little bit, right? So here we have a fence. We wanna really work on our full shoulders, our upper pecs, our, just our chest in general, also our triceps and our core a little bit, right? So we're gonna be here and we're just gonna be pushing against the fence as hard as we can for 10 seconds and then we're gonna relax. And we're gonna do it again for 10 seconds and relax, and then one more time for 10 seconds and relax. Once you're done with that, we're gonna move straight into a lateral raise here, making sure that our scaps, remember, are retracted and depressed, and we're gonna be coming up and down as fast as we can, okay, for about eight seconds, eight to 10 seconds, rest, eight to 10 seconds, rest, so three sets of that, three sets of this, but remember, you're going from this exercise to this exercise, and then come over here, we're just gonna be doing jumping pull-ups. So it can be on this type of bar, it can be on a regular pull-up bar, it doesn't matter. Just find a pull-up bar, grab, make sure your thumb is under the bar, and all you're gonna be doing is jumping, retracting those scaps and depressing and tightening in that core and pulling up, okay? Remember, there's three sets of all of these, so you're, you're supersetting all of them. And then finally, for our wrists, you can find a dip bar. If you do have a dip bar, all I want you to do is rotate forward and rotate backwards. Rotate forward. This is gonna be about 15 repetitions here. If you have nothing that's similar to this, find a ledge, find the ground. And all you're gonna be doing, because it's sandy right now, is you're going to come forward with your wrist and then come back forward with your wrist and then come back, okay? And although it's a very short warm up, if you do this enough for the three sets, superset all of them, you'll be completely fine and then you're ready for the perfect muscle up. So when it comes to perfecting this movement, you have to focus on the technique. If you don't have the technique down, you will not be able to complete it correctly. So what are we gonna do? I see a lot of issues with training the, per the perfect muscle up because they're trying to kip a little bit too much. They're uh, not in the right position at, for the actual direction of the body, of where it's gonna be going and where the movement should be progressing through the plane of motion. And then also the, the hand placement. So we're gonna target the hand placement first. Here, if you have your hands too wide out, it is going to be a lot harder. There's going to be a lot more strain on just your lats and you won't be able to use all the other muscles you're supposed to be using throughout the whole movement. So what we're gonna do is find about shoulder width apart right here and you're gonna come up, grab the bar from this position. Remember, you're the closest to your body, you're gonna be stronger. Always remember that through any, any movement that you do. So you're gonna come here, okay? And instead of having your hands under the bar like this, you are going to over pronate here. So now you're in a position so that when you come all the way up, you don't have to transfer your wrist and get outside of the plane of motion that you should be moving in for the whole movement. So if you watch me and as I do this muscle up, I'm here, boom, and then I'm up. And it's extremely, extremely clean because of this positioning. I'm in such a great position from the start that I can go straight up with absolutely no problem. Now, second, where should you be starting from? If you're starting from anywhere, you do not wanna start from straight under the bar, right? Because now, in order to get up, you have to go in a straight line. That's not where we're strongest at. Where we are strongest at is that plane of motion, just like a bench press. So if you're laying down on a bench press, imagine I'm laying down on a bench press and I push, okay? And I push out here. 
This is putting a lot more strain on different parts of my muscles that I should not be using in the movement. So what do we do? We take a diagonal motion here towards the, the uh, point of our forehead. And the same thing goes for overhead press. In order to start here, you wanna go to the mid part of your body. So if you're here in this position and you're trying to go up, you have to overcome so much more gravity than let's say coming a little bit forward already in the position that you're gonna be moving into and then it's a lot easier from that specific position. So if you watch very closely, I'm going to come, remember here, grab the bar, over pronate. Now I'm going to rotate forward just a little bit. So I'm here, you can't see anything, and I'm gonna move forward here. And if you, again, if the bar is too, um, too tall for you and you're just hanging, then what I want you to do is kind of just swing into it and start from there, okay? So you're gonna start from right here and immediately what you're going to focus on, and this is number three, the third step, it's to be as explosive as possible through the first half of the movement. So watch as I do so. So the diagonal plane of motion, watch that first. We're gonna watch that first. So if you see that, I'm always coming from here and straight up and over the bar. So a third step is going to be that explosiveness, the first half of the movement. And this is where a lot of people do not really focus on. And this is why they cannot complete it. The quicker you are off of the first half of that pull up portion of the muscle up, the quicker you'll get over the bar. Think of it as momentum. If you're in a, let's say you're ollie lifting, Olympic lifting for all of you that do not understand what that is. And you're here into a power clean and you're using the momentum here and then you whip your hips in, the bar is going to fly up where you don't have to use so much muscle. Same thing goes with this specific movement or any other movement that you're doing or completing. The quicker you are through that first half, the less you'll have to work on the second half. So watch as I explode up as hard as I can. Remember, here, shoulder width apart. We're gonna move forward and then explode. If you could see, I didn't have to work as hard on that movement because of the first half. So watch again. Sorry for the, the noise. <laughs> but at, you can see how much quicker I'm moving rather than, <clears throat> that one is way harder. And the reason why it was harder is because not being explosive in that portion of the muscle up. So if you're kipping, if you can only do a pull up, any of those movements, it's okay. It's completely okay. Just focus on that first part of your pull up and then your first part of your kip. Always focus on being explosive. Keep it over pronated throughout the whole movement. And then the diagonal line that is so important. So, that is the technique behind it. Now let me give you a few exercises that will help you perfect this muscle up. So a few exercises you can be doing, first of all, is the same kind of sorta uh, diagonal plane of action that we're trying to work through to perfect our muscle up. So we're gonna be doing a pull up from that position. So we're gonna go into over pronation. Remember, just shoulder width apart. And then all we're gonna be doing is going and putting our feet a little bit forward, okay? And exploding up here. And coming back down to that, again, in front of the bar. And again, and you always want to try and hit just below your nipple line, so that's right around here, okay, so your lower chest. Next, another most, uh, specific movement that you could be doing to perfect the muscle up is practicing from this motion here and up. So if you can find a dip bar, it doesn't matter how low it is, even if it's this low, you could start from here and just jump up really quickly, okay? So this second half is gonna be extremely tough for some people because they don't have their grip right. If you're here, you can see exactly that it's so hard to get up. So the movement that I want you to practice is coming here and there, okay? So once again, right around your chin and then jumping slightly, very slightly. Be keeping them pronated as much as possible. Over pronate, squeeze, retract and depress those scaps, remember? And then up, okay? That is the second exercise you could be doing. Third, pick something explosive. Something extremely explosive that will help you. You can do an inverted row where you're on a dip bar coming to the bottom of your chest. You can be doing a pull up that's explosive, not diagonal as so. You can also do clap pull ups and that's actually the movement that we're gonna be doing. So. The reason why a clap pull up is so beneficial to your muscle up is because of the explosiveness that you have to create through the first half. Now, once you can get that clap pull up, 
Now you wanna move further into hip tap pull-ups. So if you watch, again, we're gonna be diagonal here again, okay? And we're gonna explode and clap. And over pronate, clap. The first half of that movement is so important. So be explosive. Now, if you're so good at that, this is where you really become a lot stronger, more powerful for the perfect muscle up. And that is over pronating. And then all you're doing is you're hip tapping. See how much more, how much more it requires, the energy? That's what a, a muscle up requires, the same amount of energy. So again, shoulder width apart, over pronate, diagonal a little bit, and explode. Boom. And as you can see, with those specific exercises, if you incorporate them into your routine, you will see a lot of incredible results. So that being said, thank you for tuning in. Today is incredible, especially for you, because you get to take advantage of the, my teachings and implement it into your perfect muscle. And also make it count, all the apparel is out. So don't forget, check that out. Subscribe to my daily vlog channel in the description, and we'll see you Tuesday.